Hey guys, it's Sandeep from Phone Arena and today we'll be taking a look at the digitizer and the various functions with the yoga book in terms of actually being able to transcribe and convert your physical uh, writing into a digital writing simultaneously while you write it. So let's take a look at how it does it. So the yoga book actually comes with a halo keyboard as you can see here. This keyboard exists for a reason and the primary reason for that is because it actually has a digitizer beneath it. So in order to unlock the digitizer mode you need to basically press and hold this button over here which in the case of the Windows laptop actually launches one note. So one note can be used to take down the notes either directly so you have two pen nibs. One is the regular pen and you have the digitizer pen as well. So you can open a new page like this bring it here and you can actually start drawing directly onto the digitizer using this pen so I can even use the eraser or you can use so I can even use the eraser to erase whatever content I've done on it or choose the different types of materials you have pen pencil you have a highlighter etc and you can directly draw onto the digitizer as long as it stays within the specified limits you will see that there are four corners here anything that's drawn beyond that doesn't get registered onto the pad but this entire surface can be used as a digitizer with the provided nib so the package actually includes a pen like this that comes with exchangeable nibs one nib is the digitizer while the other is a regular pen and that also can be used to save notes onto this pad using a notepad such as this so this notepad also comes bundled in the package the yoga book so at the bottom you have a magnetic connector that goes on top of the yoga book as such and you can use it to start writing content on this so how it basically does this it has a spring mechanism inside that judges the amount of pressure you apply onto the pen and the digitizer can actually sense that you're using it using the magnet mechanism and you can have notebooks that are as thick as 8 millimeter and still make uh, proper writing onto the screen. Now we have one note launched and what I'm going to do is start writing on the notepad and you'll see that it will automatically register onto the yoga book itself. So it's actually in eraser mode so I'm going to switch that to pencil so now you'll see it. So I'm going to write So this notepad itself is an A5 size notepad and you can go out and buy one for yourself or even Lenovo will be providing similar size notepads for you in case it gets over. So what is the benefit of this is basically you have a physical copy as well as a digital copy that's already ready to send without you having to scan it separately. Now this can use a regular nib so this is a regular ballpoint pen and it can come in different colors so you can actually customize the kind of writing in terms of color you want on the notepad and as for on screen you can do the same since you have a variety of options in terms of the color you can ha either have it in uh, black blue green etc or choose one from the color palette itself it also detects different pressure points so if i'm just lightly doing this you can see that it's it's uh, not as dark as it would when i start pressing it and even the thickness increases as I put more pressure to it. So this is something that's really interesting and something that will save you a lot of time especially if you're someone who likes to have a physical copy as well as a digital copy and it's also great for those people who love to sketch or draw stuff onto their notepad. So if you're actually bothered about having a separate thing, a separate display pop up like this, you can even convert it to the tablet mode and it will actually keep recording your data as and when you do it. So on Microsoft version, it actually uses OneNote, but on the Android version, it uses Lenovo's own, so own software called Note Saver. So both of them function pretty much the same way. But the main difference is that on the Windows version, since it already comes with OneNote, they use that instead of the uh, note saver as you see on the Android version So That's it for the video guys if you like this video do hit the like button and do subscribe to our channel for more videos like this Thanks for watching